The railways of Britain, in their prime, were the most powerful railways on earth. And these railways were the power behind the docks and industries that made up Great Britain. These are the tales of the Big Four. The year 1904. It was to be a good year for the engines and I was to announce that the Old Castle branch line was to be opening later that week. I walked across the yard to the engines to address some good news and a potential redesign for the railway's main sheds at Denway as my fleet has expanded by four engines. That's good, sir. It'll be well worth it when it's complete, since some of us have to sleep out sad iron in the nice one of shade. Yes, I'm sure the rest of the engines agree with that as well, Hamish. But that's not the main reason why I'm here this morning. Engines? The branch line from the junction at Morton Heath? Well, I can now confirm that it's complete. And the engines I've decided who I want to run on the line are Athena, Carter, and Corey. Oh, thank you so much, sir. I'm so glad you've given me a second chance. Yes, thank you, sir. I had a thought, though aren't I too heavy to run on a branch line? No, Carter. You and your brother are fine. Hamish and Ellie, on the other hand, are too heavy. They exceed the weight limit for some of the bridges, Though I will be needing someone to be stabled at Morton Heath as the station pilot, I've had the workmen build a small engine shed there for the engine that wishes to stay there. Whose engine going to choose, sir? That's a good question, Caprice. I think I'll choose Horwich. Thank you, sir. Shall I go there now? Not yet, Horwich. The engine shed in which you'll be staying is not quite completed. I'll send a message down to the sheds later to let you know. Oh, hey Horwich, what's going on? I heard you've been relocated here. Yeah, I have. I'm glad for the change. I agree. It's always a good thing. Anyways, I'd better be off. I don't want to be late now. See you around, Ellie. Have you heard the news? No, Anthena. What happened? What is it? I've been selected for the branch line alongside Carter and Corey. Who's Corey? I've never seen nor heard of him. Well, neither have I. But we could ask Mr. Todd about him. Or maybe see if Jeffries knows. Anyways, I'd best be off. I'm expecting Caprice down the branch line any time soon. Ah, so you're Corey. It's nice to meet you. Yes, I am, and you are? 
I'm Athena. I haven't been here too long, but I have to say this railway is lovely. From what I've seen here, yeah, I like it. From everybody I just met, I hope to see more of it. Didn't like being stuck in the shed though. Wanted to get used to things around here. Indeed, it's the people and engines on this railway that makes this place great, other than its efficiency. <laughs> Anyways, I have to take this passenger run. Where, where are you taking that train? Oh, just down the line. Just, there's a bunch of empty trucks needed for slow goods for somebody to pick them up. I believe it was, uh, 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 who? Carter? Yeah, that it. Thank you. I'm about to take this now. Speaking of which, nice meeting you, Athena. Pleasure to meet you too, Cory. See you later. to have met Corey. He seemed nice. <laughs> I'm glad you like him. He was one, he was the one to do hard work and be willing to do any job when told to. I heard he was taking trucks for Carter Slow Goods, eh? Yes, he certainly does pull trucks well, and he shuts them better than any engine I've ever seen. I bet he's been taught well. Whoever made him gave him the ability to put the trucks into a train in less than ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, it is a mystery. I'd better be going, though. Guards whistle. You know how it is. See you later, Athena. Well, I can't stay in chatting on. See you later, Ellie. How was your run, Athena? Yes, it was lovely indeed. Um, what in the blue blazes was that? That would be Hamish. The non-stop express to Old Castle is quite the train, so I've heard. But the rate he's going, he'll sure knock himself to bits. <laughs> yeah, no doubt Mr. Todd will appreciate Hamish going that fast. Though, I be though I'd best be off. I have to get these passengers to the final destination. See you later, Caprice. I've got to make this shed is nice. Much better than the one we had previous, as some of us had to sleep outside. I agree, this shed is much more comfortable than like the old one we saw when we came here. But I bet it's hard for the other engines to make this change. I mean, it was their home. 
Guess you're right. Sorry. They will eventually get used to it. At least now we'll have a place to sleep. The old shit didn't need the upgrade, but don't peer pressure them into liking it. They are new to this railway and you ought to show some respect. To who have worked this railway, like myself. Got it? Got it. Speaking of which, where are summoning engines? I know Hamish, I believe, is taking the express. And surely Ellie is done with her train by now. Jeez, ever heard of patience? You should use it once in a while. You're the one to talk. At least I'm not so clumsy with taking goods trains. Why you? Uh, oh, brother. That's enough, you two. You make my buffers ache with all your bickering. <sighs> Seriously, you three, you need to stop. Some of us did a lot of work today. They would like to get some shut eye. Sorry. Yeah, but he started it. I did not. Well, I'm finishing it. So, Ellie, how was your run? <sighs> Good. And yours? Good. Well, let's get some rest, you lot. That's enough for one day. All right. Sorry, Ellie. Good night. Yeah, good night. Just to clarify, you started it. Don't make me come over there and make you crash through the shed wall. Morning, engines. How are you all? I've got some special tasks for some of you. However, Rory and Carter, I'll need you two to take a long freight train from Morton Heath to the docks. It'll be a mixed goods of rails, wood, and cattle vans. For which, the wood will come from the forest down the branch line. It'll have to split into two sections to be transported down to the junction. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Right then. Corey will take the cattle vans from the farm and take them to the next station. Jeffries, I would like you to go to the yard and shunt the rails into the station. They'll be waiting in a siding. They got here last night. Yes, sir. All right. You lot best be off. Ellie, I'd like you to take another passenger train. And Caprice, you can take a little goods train to Old Castle. Once you've done that, head back for your passenger train. Yes, sir. What's the goods train for? Not much, really. Just some trucks of stone, because one of the castle walls nearly collapsed in on itself. All right. Good day, engines. What are you doing? Now you've done it! I can't move! Why were you in the way, Grandpa? Shunting the wood into place, you Caledonian-looking wannabe! Until you poked your buffers in and shunted the rails behind me! Now I'm stuck! Get. Me. Out! Told you he was clumsy with goods trains. Shut up, Rory! Pushing you through the shed is still an offer on the table. Uh, something told me that Jeffries was going to be there for a while. But that's a story for another time. <laughs>